Alright you guys, this is Lean To Life. I'm in a little sled here. Um, this is like a snowmelt pond in my backyard. Today I'm going to be testing out, uh, I'm going to be trying to do hypothermia survival. I'm going to jump in. Uh, I got a reflective blanket tarp in my backpack and pretty much, I pretty much just have stuff that, I've always, that I always have on me when I'm hiking in the woods. The tarp I probably wouldn't have always, but um, you know in a situation like this I probably would. Uh, I got matches in my pocket and a waterproof container all the time, but I'm not going to use those. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go out on that ice island, jump in all the way under, under the head, make a fire, see if I can survive or if I die. Hopefully I survive, but you never know. Boy, there's a caterpillar in my hand. That's great, Jack. All right, so here's the scenario. I'm walking. I don't know. I think this is solid, and then I bust through, okay? So I'm walking. Cool, isn't it? Alright. Ah! Oh, it's kind of cold. Oh. Alright. Luckily, I have on my back a backpack that has a tarp in it that's supposed to be thermally rated. But the first thing I have to do is get out of any cotton that I have on, which is my pants. Now, don't worry. This is family friendly. I have synthetic long underwear underneath. Nothing to worry about. Alright. Now, on my top I have uh, wool, and anybody in my family will tell you that I'm a pretty big fan of wool, and I would definitely be wearing this in the in the wild. Actually, it's really windy out here. So I'm gonna use my tarp. I'm actually really surprised at how not cold I am right now. Um, it's got this thermal coating on the inside. I've never really needed it before, but I'm going to try it now. Alright, so I'm going to tie my shoes. So I got the cotton off. Now a lot of people, when the cotton's wet, they'll keep it on anyway. They don't want to be exposed to the harsh wind. But if cotton's wet, it's one of the very worst things you can have on it. Synthetics, which is what these are, is it's actually, okay, it's still warm, so it's wet a little bit. Wool, which I always wear, it's amazing. It, it'll warm when it's wet. I can't believe how uncool I am right now, but... That's probably also because of this tarp, and I don't know, maybe I'm in shock or something, you never know. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie my shoes right now. I don't want that to cause an accident later. So I missed something earlier. A lot of times you're gonna be on a lake, you're gonna be falling through a hole, and I'm gonna show you how to get back up on the ice. So I'm gonna go back in here. All right. Woo, woo. Okay, it's kinda cold just a little bit. So you're swimming around here. Woo, woo, so cold. You gotta get up and spread your weight out as much as you possibly can. Spread it out and just start crawling. All right. And go back the same way you came because you know that way can support human body weight. If you actually Woo! fall through, I would not suggest going back in, okay? <laughs> That's something I just learned, all right? Because <gasps> now I gotta get back out again. Start a fire. Okay, we gotta go. Maybe I can sail this ice. That's a bad idea. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So it's below freezing, as you might be able to tell by this layer of ice. We kind of broke through it a little bit. Oh. Okay, nothing to worry about. I need that tarp. This tarp is very useful. Now, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for hypothermia to set in. And you want to be sitting by a fire by that time, okay? Now, I'm going to make a fire with my ferro rod because we're going to pretend all my matches got soaked. And, um, you want to take your time with the fire because a rushed fire is what well, will not light and it, it takes way more time in the end. So, so yeah, take your time. I'm going to go gather materials. So, I got a fire finally going with this. Took a lot of a lot of life off of it. The reason it took it took me forever because one I was shaking and I was super duper cold, and two everything was wet. So I, I finally took my got all my wits about me, um, and made a couple feather sticks. Uh, you know, which is where you take shavings attached to the stick, and that those caught easily. Now I did have and I carry around matches in a waterproof little bottle, but I kind of don't want to cheat, so I didn't use them because a lot of times I might not have that. 
or a lot of people wouldn't have that. So this tarp is amazing. Oh my gosh. If I go like this over the fire, instantly 75 degrees in here. Instantly. So I mean if I had if I had absolutely forced to, I would have if if I didn't have something or if I was just way too cold, I would have cut a couple boughs off of some cedar and whatever I have around. Lay him down on the ground, pack the snow down, lay him down, so I him elevated off the ground and just curled up in this for a little while. And I would have got pretty warm. Now I'm shaking a ton because I'm actually warming up. Um earlier I was like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a different type of shake. This is more of a warming up shake. I don't know if that makes sense. So yeah, you know, this is I, I'm I'm actually really happy I tried this because now I know I can survive it. It only goes uphill from here, so I, I would prop up this. Um, in my, I'm gonna make some. All right, so now I'm in the house. I didn't want to end the video in here. I want to end it out there. I made a cup of tea with the pond water. You boil it, and it's pure and whatnot. Um, my cameraman got a little cold. You know, they, they were just a little cold, so they had to come inside, and now I'm inside too. And I was warming up like crazy. That tarp with the fire. I used to think those tarps were just, you know, kind of like a gimmick and whatnot. Not a gimmick. I thought they were good to have, but whoa, those are amazing. I mean, they're amazing. So I really recommend you get them. You can get like a cheap one for three dollars. Pick it up. You know that one I cost cost like ten dollars. So yeah, this has been Lean to Life. Please press that subscribe button. But if you don't, I will forgive you. See you later.